I'm Gary Greenfield. This is uh, Betty Wong. This is Lilith. Lily's about a year and a half. She loves to snuggle all day. She could lay on my lap literally all day if she wasn't this huge. She's, she's scared just, of everything. <laughs> yeah, she's terrified of everything. And we were actually just taking the dogs out to the park. Um, and then after the park, we were going to go and order some, some pho from Chopsticks. And we went there and we got they got our order wrong and we were turning around to go fix it. We were driving and we didn't see a stop sign because of some tree coverage. So we ran right through a stop sign and we got T-boned on the right side. And the car rolled three times. Luckily, no other, nobody really got that hurt. We were really sore. She's really bruised up and cut. And uh, the dog, I mean, her pads on her paws got really tore up and she's got a couple scratches and stuff you can feel on her head, just little things. But really all of us were a-okay after rolling three times. When she opened the door, Lilith jumped out and just took off running. And she ran probably over a mile, mile and a half, really fast, all the way down to the main road. And of course, I, I, mean, I was bleeding all over my arm. My, I had a little bit of blood in my hair and stuff. Like there was glass everywhere. And I was trying to chase her down, but I mean, I, I wasn't in good shape. The neighbor drives us to the hospital. And uh, we're stuck in the waiting room for like three hours and I have no clue where Lilith is. And I think it was like two hours afterward. I mean, on this phone that doesn't do much, can't see much. I somehow was able to create like one of those paw boost alerts. It was like not even an hour later. Her sister's looking on a Facebook uh, dog lost and found. Our families are looking on Facebook with dog lost and found. And I get this little message on my phone that says like paw boost some name and then like a link I can't really read on my phone. And I click on it and I click the link and it shows a Facebook post. And then I somehow forward it to her. And then she messages the lady on Facebook that all the people on Pawboost sent us the link to to like uh, confirm or to, <laughs> to find her. And she calls us the next morning, tells us where she dropped off the dog. And that was the whole story pretty much. So yeah, actually she found, she found the dog running through the streets. And she's actually a hero too, because she found the dog in the streets and like apparently stopped traffic or something with her car and got out and got, <laughs> and, and Lilith just, was scared of all the traffic and jumped right in her car because she loves car rides so much. She was amazing. She had three dogs of her own, so I think she knew what we were feeling. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. She, she's, she's doing good now. No matter how stressed you are, like post updates of where you're looking, or like if your friends are looking like we had, like where they've checked and she isn't. Like you can post all that. People do up check and update trying to help. I thought she'd be afraid of cars for a little while because I mean, she's literally, I turn on the hose and she's like, what's that? No, the second we open the car door, she's like, ooh, car ride, and jumps right back into my car. I'm like, that's good. <laughs>